Hey everyone, as you know, it's September, which means it's Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. But we have to start thinking about this disease on a more regular basis. Here's the thing about ovarian cancer. We don't talk about it enough. Ovarian cancer is a cancer that not everyone knows about, hears about, talks about. Did you know there's no early detection test for it? There's no pap smear or mammogram. Every 23 minutes, another person is diagnosed with ovarian cancer in this country. As a woman, as a mother, as a friend, you know, we all have to really think about cancer and the way it really affects every single one of us directly or indirectly. I often think of my friend, the incomparable Madeline Kahn. And though I smile when I think of her, I also get really angry at, at what this disease has stolen from us and what it continues to take. We've lost far too many people, too many of our friends. My dear aunt Ina passed away from ovarian cancer. She was a great woman. Four years ago, my dear, dear, dear friend was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. I've seen the pain and despair and heartache that accompanies a diagnosis and a treatment. I don't have to tell you that this is a terrible disease. It is. But I also want to tell you that I see you, all of you, and your incredible strength and courage. I've also been privy to the grace and resilience and beautiful spirit that comes from within. The same spirit that comes from you. We are all bonded together in the fight against ovarian cancer. As an ovarian cancer survivor, I am so grateful for ever evolving and progressive science and for all the individuals who are working tirelessly to eradicate this disease. I tend to fight for the things that matter to me, which is what I love about OCRA. They do that too by fighting for the funding needed to discover better treatments and ultimately a cure for this terrible disease. They fight for better laws and policies that affect how ovarian cancer is studied and how it's covered by insurance and how care is delivered to patients. I have been a supporter of the Ovarian Cancer Research Alliance for a very long time. I know OCRA has your back year after year. Their patient support programs help thousands of survivors and their families navigate through some very difficult days. The Ovarian Cancer Research Alliance is such an incredible organization. The largest charity for ovarian cancer in the world. That provides just so much information. And I suggest you go to ocrahope.org to learn how you can protect yourself and your loved ones. So please follow OCRA on social media, check out ocrahope.org, or just donate to help us stop this terrible, terrible disease. So please, just give as much or as little as you can. We've got to keep donating and demanding attention for ovarian cancer to find better treatments and a cure. I stand in solidarity with you and with OCRA. Together we will continue to raise awareness and support funding to help eradicate ovarian cancer. I am committed to using my platform to bring awareness to cancer so that we can find a way to stop it. And together, we will stop it. I plan to keep this conversation going for as long as it takes, and I hope you'll join me. This is a cause near and dear to my heart. Let's stay together. Let's keep giving voice to power and give power and strength to each other.